Good morning, it's Tina Barr here at AWS in Seattle. Here's some news from this week. Oh, hey Tina, what's up? Hey dad, we were just rehearsing. What's happening? Hey Jeff, uh, I thought you were gonna be in San Francisco. Not week. until tonight. Oh, um, we're just um, trying something out. I'll get it from here. All right. Ah, kids these days. It's Jeff Barr here at AWS in Seattle. Here's a few launches from this week that caught my eye. First off, brand new T3 instances for EC2. Like the earlier T1s and T2s, these are burstable instances. We've made them easier to use by making the burst mode enabled by default. You can use the instances today in 12 regions in seven different sizes. At the high end, we've added two new sizes with 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes of memory. These instances are even more cost effective than their predecessors. You can also even use them to replace some of your existing M4 and M5 instances in situations where you don't need to use all the CPU power on a continuous basis. Next up, new feature for Amazon Chime. We use this phrase at Amazon called drink your own champagne. This means that we use our new products and services before we make them available to our customers. So I use Amazon Chime on a very, very regular and frequent basis. I'm in multiple IM sessions throughout the day, perhaps a few too many at times. I dial into several meetings. The new Chime Call Me feature actually simplifies the dial-in process. I don't have to dial in, I get an alert on my phone, and I can then enter my phone number and Chime will call me to get me into the meeting. Great when I'm on the go, saves a couple clicks, makes life just a little bit easier. If you're a developer and you're using DynamoDB Local, we've got a new Docker image for you. This image incorporates into your container build process, lets you build and test prototypes on your laptop while you're on the go, while you're disconnected, and incorporates into your containerized build process. If you're using AWS Key Management Service to build secure applications, got some great news for you. We've raised the request limit from the original 1,200 requests per second to between 5,000 and 10,000, depending on your AWS region. This is gonna make it easier for you to build highly scalable applications. Thanks for joining us this week for some of our launch highlights. For the full slate of recent launches, check out our What's New page. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you won't miss an update, and I'll see you next week unless I've been replaced.